Good afternoon to you all. I'm Franny Presmont of uh, the French Institute on uh, Vine and Wine, and I will uh, present the Wet Wine Network uh, uh, project. Uh, it's a program that was uh, funded um, in the framework of the Horizon 2020 program for research and innovation. There was a call for projects in 2014. The project will last two and a half years. It started in April 2015 and it will uh, end in September this year. In 2014, there were several thematic networks that received funding um, and uh, um, in that included viticulture. The idea of this uh, uh, thematic network was on the one hand uh, that the results uh, from uh, uh, research um, should uh, um, be transferred more quickly to the industry so that there had to be an improvement in the speed of uh, information for growers uh, and winemakers. And also, on the other hand, there are growers uh, that uh, test uh, stuff that uh, put in place innovations which are not shared with the rest of the industry. Now, this being the setting, uh, a decision was made to uh, launch a research network focusing on two diseases that are pretty common in Europe, grapevine trunk diseases and Flavisons dore, two diseases that uh, um, are causing major financial losses and are a source of anxiety. The goals of the, of the project were to improve knowledge uh, on, about both diseases and also to improve exchanges between European regions to encourage collaborative innovation in the wine industry and to also uh, improve knowledge and innovation from region to region and training material in order to develop a future agenda between the two diseases. Now, who's part of the Wine Network project? There are seven member countries. We are working at a regional scale. The seven European countries have identified uh, 10 uh, viticultural regions that are part of the project. Uh, two regions in France, uh, two in Italy, um, Piedmont and uh, the Venetian and Friul area. The consortium is made up of 11 partners and this will be a multiplayer partnership uh, because we have uh, uh, technical institutions, uh, uh, research centers and universities, uh, um, producer organizations and private uh, um, companies. The project consists of several phases. First of all, we had to document and collect knowledge, scientific and practical knowledge. All this body of knowledge would then be um, summarized and uh, it would be transferred through the uh, um, knowledge uh, repositories that we have created uh, that corresponding to a web page all the, that contains all the current uh, um, information that we have about uh, grapevine trunk diseases and flower sensory in order to recirculate that uh, to uh, European wine growers and uh, Europe with the EIP Agri uh, website uh, that uh, shares uh, a large body of knowledge. Um, the wine network, uh, the structure was a bit uh, unusual. Uh, we have uh, uh, created a group of uh, facilitating agents, uh, facilitators that uh, belong to the 10 um, wine growing regions with uh, in contact uh, with uh, European technical work groups uh, that are responsible for scientific acquisitions about uh, GTD and Flava Sansere, and also in contact uh, with regional technical groups uh, that uh, are made up of consultants, uh, experts and uh, wine growers in the region. These people exchange knowledge uh, with uh, a, a top-down and bottom-up approach. How did we document practical and scientific knowledge? Well, first of all, our facilitators and the technical committees worked on the documentation of practical knowledge, hands-on knowledge, field knowledge, if you will. Um, and uh, we 
basically carried out uh, over 200 interviews uh, everywhere in Europe in the viticultural region said uh, that made it possible to observe practices uh, that uh, growers put in place to counter GTD, um, GTDs uh, and also the ability uh, for the growers to um, put in place innovation locally and identifying the needs uh, On the other hand, the scientific groups, work groups have uh, uh, taken a review of the existing literatures and have uh, uh, organized meetings. All of that uh, is uh, collected and uh, placed in our knowledge repository. Scientific knowledge is uh, supported by scientific papers, uh, and also, we have hands-on knowledge that comes from the field, and all of that is uh, summarized and made available in a new format. We are producing ma training materials for wine growers as well as uh, uh, training materials for consultants and winemakers for the... Um, Wine growers, we developed uh, flyers, video clips, and uh, training modules. Um, the tools for support services, well, we're still developing that. We've created uh, uh, video seminars uh, made by scientists, uh, technical data sheets or fact sheets, uh, and information documents. Uh, so um, in our repository, we have a number of uh, um, resources that are already available and others that are not. In conclusion, we have summarized innovative practices uh, uh, which we have translated so that they are ac accessible to everyone. The websites are accessible to everyone. We've created uh, this uh, uh, knowledge reservoir that documents uh, all the current uh, um, information we will then propose a future research agenda to make more even more progress thank you very much for listening